What's going on guys? Jacob here and I'm here with my colleague Jason. Jason. And in today's video I'm going to teach you three really important lessons to ensure that you guys don't remain small and skinny like Jason. Well, that's all. You can go <laughs> so the first mistake that many lifters make, especially intermediates like Jason, he's an early intermediate, are that they program hop. They'll jump from one program to another without any structure, logic, or reason for changing the program. Now, don't get me wrong. Changing your program isn't the same as changing programs. If you're adjusting variables based on real-world outcomes and the things that you're observing in training, that is all well and good, and I highly recommend that you do that. However, if you're one day training on Smolov and the next day you're doing Jim Wendler's 531, then you're doing Mike Isretel's hypertrophy templates, that's not how you're going to get results. You need to make sure that you're following a program consistently. And as I mentioned earlier, you're making adjustments based on your observations and your progress. Now, when you program hop and you change variables within your program too often or too frequently, you are going to have to relearn motor patterns and you're going to acquire a lot of muscle damage because of the novelty and the new exercises that you're doing and the stimulus is going to be completely different. And this just diminishes the amount of tension stimulus that you're going to accrue and the subsequent hypertrophy that you might achieve. Now the second mistake that lifters like Jason make when they're in the early intermediate stages of their lifting career are that they yo-yo diet or they're permanently trying to cut and stay lean. Now this is a huge issue that many people make including myself but make sure you are spending adequate time in a surplus so that you're providing your body with the energy and nutrients you need to augment the training stimulus that you're getting when you go to the gym to help you build and synthesize new muscle tissue. So try not to worry too much if you're getting a little bit of body fat or you might be gaining weight. This is all part and parcel of the process and believe me, it's easier to lose weight and body fat than it is to build muscle. So you need to make sure that you're spending an adequate amount of time in a calorie surplus and building muscle. The third mistake that many lifters make in the intermediate stages is that they poorly manage intensity. And this can go one of two ways. The first is that they train too hard, too often and they don't include any fatigue management strategies such as rest days, light days, uh, pe periods of deloading, or any form of fatigue management. They'll just train hard, balls to the wall, RPE 10 on every exercise, and they'll never take a break and let their body recover. Now, when you have a stress and you impose that stress continually over time, it accumulates and fatigue accumulates and there will become a point where you can no longer recover and perform at the same level anymore and this is called overreaching and when it's not deliberate it's called non-functional overreaching and this is where you're going to see your performance decline and you might even start to see plateaus in your muscle gaining or your uh, muscle might start to <laughs> size might start to decrease in fact. So, although learning how to train hard is indeed a very useful skill, and those who do learn how to push it hard are often in a better position when they do get to later stages in their training career, you really need to manage fatigue if you want to continue to build muscle long term. Now, on the other end of the spectrum, you have people who don't train hard enough. Now, you might make some gains as a beginner because the training stimulus is so novel, but as you get to those early intermediate stages like Jason, that's when you start need to start learning how to push hard and also include those fatigue management strategies. And many people, when they get to the intermediate stage, just simply aren't training hard enough and they're leaving too many reps in reserve, not getting close enough to failure to achieve that hypertrophy stimulus. And there's really good research that's shown that People grossly underestimate how many reps they have left in reserve. So it's very important to learn how to train hard, but also how to learn how to manage that fatigue. So guys, they're the three main mistakes that the lifters make when it comes to building muscle. I uh, hope you found this informative. If you did, make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll speak to you all next time.